He's been a linebacker. Was it natural for me? No. A defensive tackle. There's usually some kind of like strength differential, so they say. And this year, finally, a defensive end. That's home. <laughs> the thing that's always kept Matthias Kiwanuka in the NFL is his versatility. But one of the biggest things that drives him is the desire to live up to his family name. It's a name hallowed in his family's native Uganda and by Ugandans everywhere. Not a lot of people recognize my face, but if I'm in a situation where somebody from Uganda knows or sees my name, then the first question they ask isn't, do I play football? It's, are you related to Benedicto? And so it is, um, you know, it's, it's, always, it's always been a, a sense of pride for me and my family. Benedicto Kiwanuka. In 1961, he became the first elected prime minister in Uganda's history. In 1971, he became Uganda's first chief justice. If there were a Mount Rushmore in Uganda, Benedicto Kiwanuka's face would be on it. He inspires me a lot in terms of um, I'm constantly reminded about how great he is and it's a constant reminder for me to know that I should have a big expectation of myself because great things are always possible. The greatest thing Benedicto Kiwanuka is remembered for is standing for the rule of fair and just law in Uganda, even if that meant countering edicts put forth by the man who appointed him as Uganda's chief justice, the infamous dictator Idi Amin Dada. More than just you know hearing about it, when you walk down the street and somebody who recognizes you takes the time to come up and say, you know, usually an older person to say, hey, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate what your grandfather did for our people and for our country. I mean, it gives you a sense of pride. Matthias's grandfather paid a terrible price for opposing Idi Amin on principle. In 1972, forces believed to be working at Amin's behest took Benedicto Kiwanuka into custody, publicly tortured him before murdering him by setting him on fire. He was just 50 years old. 41 years later, Matthias Kiwanuka says he's taken important lessons from his grandfather's death as well as from his life. It can do one or two things. One, it can scare you away from politics and from um, foreign affairs or government in general. Or it can inspire you to find a cause that you believe in so passionately that you're willing to give your life. Because this wasn't a situation where he wasn't warned or he didn't know what could possibly come coming down. Um, but he chose to do what he did, knowing the consequences, and he still did it. And for that, he is um, beloved by an entire nation, entire region, um, an entire continent. And so I feel like um, maybe politics isn't your thing. Maybe um, uh, philanthropy isn't your thing. But whatever it is that you find, you have to be 100% bought into it to the point where you'd be willing to give your life.